Hit Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, it's Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5 for Tuesday, October the 6th. Sweet Life on Deck stars Cole and Dylan Sprouse are getting ready to look beyond their years of onset tutoring. They're 17 now and they're looking ahead to college, so the two of them got a little tour of USC's campus. A private tour guide took the boys around, but they were recognized by at least one student who came up and asked if they were Zach and Cody, but they were trying to keep it on the down low because, you know, of course, all the USC students would be storming campus once they found out those two were on property. Kirstie Alley lost 75 pounds on Jenny Craig, deserved a big pat on the back for that one, but then uh, she suffers from a serious food addiction. Gained back 105 pounds was close to approaching 300, and that's when she decided to check into a fat farm. Um, actually, Cal Avi prefers to be called a health spa. But basically, uh, Kirsty says she's subsisting on or existing on rabbit food, and she's eating 1,400 calories a day, which is a pretty good sized diet, but she's also working out six days a week. She's been tweeting a lot about her experience, saying she's daydreaming of buttered popcorn and sweet tea and fresh baked bread. So it doesn't sound like her head's really right with the game here. So hopefully uh, she'll be able to fix the mental part of this because basically it is all mental, right? Uh, MTV is going ahead with their plans to air Gone Too Soon, which is an eight-part series hosted by DJ AM about his um, struggle with addiction. Talked about how he'd been sober for 11 years and was walking a fine line because he realized he could relapse at any moment and he was going to be helping teenagers battling their addictions and setting them on the path to sobriety. Well, as we know, in August he passed away from an accidental drug overdose after a brief, a brief relapse. But Gone Too Soon is going to air anyway. They're hoping it can uh, serve as a lesson to those struggling and it will debut on Monday, October the 12th. Lindsay Lowe in Spring 2000 collection, 2010 collection for Angaro didn't get a real warm reception on the Paris runways this week. A lot of people actually giggling at some of the things that made it down the runway. But what really had people with concern was not her fashion sense or lack thereof, it's her appearance. She's looking very thin, very pale. I think, you know, honestly, I think the choice of blonde hair color for Lindsay makes her look sicker than she probably actually is. She is like really underweight too, you have to add that in. Her dad spoke to Radar Online and says he puts all the blame on a prescription drug addiction. He would not say specifically what he believes his daughter is addicted to, but says the reason she's not acting right now in any major projects is because she can't. She has a dependency problem and so he's hoping he can help get her out from that. And finally, Nicole Ritchie rear-ended by a paparazzo following a little too close yesterday afternoon in Beverly Hills. She was driving without her children, thankfully, but with another unnamed male friend. And um, apparently she was rear-ended and police came on the scene. She refused medical treatment. She said she was in pain, but she could go uh, to the hospital by herself later. Now, at first, there were two guys in the car behind her that rear-ended her, and the one that got arrested for it said, you know, it wasn't me driving, it was him, the other guy. But there was the other witnesses on the scene that said, no, he's the one that did it. And uh, his name's Eduardo Arrivabene. Won't mean much to you, but he was arrested for driving without a license. And it turns out he may be here um, as an undocumented immigrant, I guess that's what they would call it. I don't have that right in front of me right now. But he's going to be in a lot of hot water. So just adding on to the problems he's already suffering. He says, by the way, the accident happened because he dropped his camera and was, you know, bent over trying to fish for it. And that's when the collision happened. That's your show this top five for Tuesday.